After creating some time-shattering shockwaves with 2016's Quantum Break, Remedy Entertainment have returned to the sci-fi shooty superpower genre with Control, a third-person action game that follows Jesse Faden, who set out to discover the mystery behind her missing brother by infiltrating the Federal Bureau of Control. What follows is quite possibly the weirdest first day on the job, as she finds herself wielding immense psionic abilities, a modular morphing handgun, and strangest of all, is promoted all the way from janitor's assistant to the director of the entire super secret government agency, and they didn't even ask for a bloody resume. Thank you, director. Jesse. So if you're thinking of taking control yourself, here are a few things control gets right, and a few things that may have spun a bit out of control. The story takes place within a complex known as The Oldest House, an enormous facility made up of mazes of empty offices, concrete foyers, and sterile science labs. This huge TARDIS-like structure quickly becomes the star of the game as its interiors transform and rearrange themselves due to the building's supernatural origins as a place of power. Think of it like going to work in a giant, brutalist Rubik's Cube. Holy shit! You did it! There's a fantastic eeriness to it all, helped by the fact that there are very few employees left in the building, and those that have stuck around are a little, um, floaty? Plus, as the game employs a bit of the old Metroidvania-style backtracking, this kind of disorientation is ideal for changing things up on multiple runs, or just getting you lost trying to find Kevin in human resources. Oh, come on Kevin, get down. While the premise and setting of Control have huge potential, the story itself can be quickly lost in a muddle of cryptic narration and obtuse interactions. Sure, there's a ton of style and cool direction, and Remedy have clearly had a lot of fun ratcheting up the weirdness at every turn, similar to the druggy dream sequences from Max Payne and the time-jumping fractures in Quantum Break. But a lot of it comes off as just weird for weird's sake. Hi, ah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. And in my opinion, it all just dives in a bit too deep too early. Without even a single grounded moment to get to know Jesse outside of this whole situation, it can be hard to connect with her as a protagonist. Her inner monologue comes off sounding expositional, and dialogue options feel a bit pointless. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. The saving grace to all of this are the many optional collectibles that hold much of the intricate lore that fills in the blanks if you go searching for them. The FMV sequences you encounter are extremely engaging and entertaining. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Uh, also, there's this puppet show. Magnus, my home! If you're going to name your game Control, you better hope the game has good controls. Fortunately, the controls in Control control great! Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. No surprise really when you look at the back catalogue of Remedy's work and how they've close to perfected third-person running and gunning. Jesse navigates obstacles and environments with ease, following input from tight and responsive controls. Aiming on the move feels particularly polished. Jesse strafes and spins naturally, always keeping her focus on possessed co-worker enemies or obstacles, even when leaping around the office or doing a spot of levitating herself. Even with all the crazy, weird, floaty goings on at the bureau, there's still a need for some good old fashioned shooty pew pews. Gunplay here is restricted to a singular module pistol known as the service weapon. Finding this weapon early on is actually what sends Jesse rocketing through middle management all the way to the top job, after its previous owner used it to, shall we say, retire? Now in the capable hands of director Faden, it proves to be a versatile little hand cannon, adding a range of new fire modes as it's upgraded throughout the game. However, while each of these modes have fancy names like Shatter and Pierce, they essentially boil down to a pistol, shotgun blast, auto fire, powerful sniper shot, and a rocket launcher blast. Don't get me wrong, it's an interesting premise to jam all this firepower into one Lego looking transformer gun, but functionally, it's nothing we haven't experienced before. Where are the more creative fire modes, like a horizontal line of bullets or homing shots that fire around corners? I mean, it's a transforming gun for God's sakes, why not just go full on weird? Yeah. 
If, however, you prefer to use your mind over matter, Control has a whole suite of paranatural powers for you to play with, and the good news is they're all heaps of fun. As Jessie delves deeper into the facility, she comes across objects of power, also known as oops. Super cute name, but super deadly once harnessed. After locating and testing each power out on the astral plane, Jessie can then wield them against her enemies or combine them to create devastating attacks. Unlike the gunplay, these abilities feel appropriately strange and powerful. Dashing into a melee punch or picking up everyday objects before hurling them into your foes never seems to get old. Plus, all of this telekinetic action is amplified by a physics engine that delights in the destruction of the environment around you. Crumbling concrete while flinging paperwork and particles into the air with your brain blasts makes every inter-office conflict feel like a scene out of Inception and the Matrix combined. That said, I would hate to be the person who has to clean all this up. Uh, sorry, creepy janitor, I think you'll find I'm the director now. Well, those are just a few of the features Control has to offer. In the meantime, let us know if you can control your urge to play it, or do you think the whole thing is totally out of control? Or maybe you're just sick of hearing me find uses for the word control. If so, please let me know down in the control. Yeah.